I actually got to spend time around George Karloftis during the season, and he is a football guy. Hard hat, lunch pail, everything that you want in a player. Obviously, he's got the size, he's got the ability. I'm going to get into some of the strengths and weaknesses over here, but just from spending time with him, this, this dude has a personality to be a great pro. So starting off with some of the strengths, number one, and I feel like an old man as I say this, but he is strong as an ox, right? This dude can go out there, use his hands to really get a hold of offensive linemen. If he's got a running back in his grasp, he's not getting away, obviously punishing when it comes to quarterbacks. Number two, he is great with double teams. He understands how to hold the point in the run game on a double team to make sure the linebacker can come free, but also, uh, when it's time for him to go and slip it and make a play, he knows how to split between two guys, get skinny, and go ahead and get the tackle. And then number three, he's really agile. You're looking at a guy who's around 6'4", 266, but he moves like a much smaller, much lighter guy. And so I think those are some of the strengths that you're gonna see out of his game. It's what I saw when I watched the tape. Now, people are gonna point and say he didn't have the stats, and I would say all those double teams, those triple teams you saw on the tape right there, that's why. Now, as we get into some of the weaknesses, the first one, he abandoned his speed rush a little bit too soon. I don't think he trusts his speed coming off the edge there. And in the NFL, it is a fast man's game. So he's going to have to get comfortable running the hump around those tackles and trust that he can get to the quarterback, beat him to the spot. Number two, he lacks ideal length. Now he's a guy who's got really big, strong arms, but they're not necessarily long arms. This is something I've talked about with some of these prospects just in terms of their build, but the ability to create space in the NFL is huge. And then number three, at times he plays with high pad level, and those are the only times you see him getting knocked off when he's taking on blockers or when he's getting blindsided. But this is a really good player, guys. I'm super excited about this one. I would say for my money, this is the best value player because you're gonna get him somewhere in the 20s probably maybe 15 to 32 you'll find him but he's going to get you similar production to some of those guys that are going to go in the top five or top ten of this draft as pass rushers one of the things i really like about george looking into his background came over here from greece when he was 13 very athletic he yes he played on the national greek water polo team yeah so like there's athleticism there that's one of the best pol water endurance. polo teams yeah. in the world so endurance being able to you know, have that strength in your And poor, he's a like, track and field guy. He's a really good guy, thrower. Which we know you love. And, and that shows for the big guys, when you're a good thrower, it shows that you know how to translate power, right? Because you got to get your knees, your hips, your shoulders, everything moving all in the same plane to get the best power. But also, you have to be quick getting around that circle. And people don't realize that, but it indicates quickness and good footwork, too. You can learn a lot about a football player out on the track. I'm telling you, playing multiple sport, sports, yeah, these multi-sport sure. athletes, it really does help because you're working different muscles. Yes. 6'4", 266. Mm -hmm but is slim. Like, he doesn't look 266 pounds. No, I mean, this dude is an animal. I watched him in the weight room. I watched him on the field. It, it is, I mean, Mr. Olympia-type yeah. stuff, the way that he lifts weights. Nope. It's crazy. Yeah.